Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we are gonna be preparing ourselves to go to a trip. We're gonna be going to a trip very, very soon. Um, So today we're gonna go shopping for that trip and I cannot wait. So mom, uh, sorry to interrupt, but we're, we're actually gonna have to cancel those plans because remember that Calvin is coming over. Girl, but this trip is very important, but Calvin's coming over? Yeah. Was that your little secret boyfriend that you had? The one that you were supposed to tell me about, but you never like told me anything about? And you just snuck out? That one? Is it that one? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, but tomorrow then we're gonna have a very tight schedule because we do have to go shopping for the suitcases and, you know, everything we need. But I guess, so when is he gonna come? Um, I don't know. Right now, I think I'm just gonna finish making the muffins and then I think I'll come in a little bit. You make muffins for him, but not for us. All right. But anyways. As, as for all of us. <laughs> okay. But anyways, guys, so today London didn't go to school. So it's like 10 in the morning. Um, the kids are at school, so they are gonna be at school. London didn't go to school today because she had a free day today and she wasn't gonna do anything and she was just like mom can I stay home and I was just like fine she could help me with buying things but I, I guess our plans have changed um so that's that we're just gonna wait I guess for Calvin to arrive so he just sent me a message saying that he's almost here he's two minutes away oh wow well I don't know how I feel about this because this is the first you're my oldest daughter <laughs> You're my oldest daughter, and, like, I know James has had girlfriends before, but that's, like, you know, that's, like, yeah. <laughs> little kids, you know? But you're, like, the first grown-up type child that I had, so it's, like, a little different now. Your cookies are about to burn, so. Or your muffins, <laughs> I think you should get those out. Oh, oh let me take them. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm gonna be meeting my daughter's boyfriend, secret little boyfriend, I guess, which is, like... I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know because this girl kept it a secret from me. So I'm not like how I should be. But I'm still going to be nice. Because, you know, I have to be nice. As long as they treat London fine and they not fine, good. Then I'm fine with them. Oh, oh. Look like. So oh, he's right there, London. He's right there. Go. I'm. Are you supposed to open the door or me? I've never done this. Hey, London. Hi, Calvin. Hi. Oh, um. <laughs> Hi, Miss Amelia. Hi, Calvin. Um, can I help you? Uh, uh, London, can I speak with you very quickly? Um, yeah, sure. So, Mom, this is Calvin. Calvin, this is my- I need to speak with you really quickly. Um, Sorry, give me a second, Mom. Uh, okay, um, that's- uh, I guess I'm just I'll leave you guys alone really quick. I'll be like I'll be right here though. London, okay. can you close the door really quick? Just come over here. No, close the door. Oh, okay, well I'm gonna yeah. continue with your muffins, London. So what happened, Kevin? What did you want to talk to me about? Um, I didn't know that I was gonna be meeting your mom. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was like kind of unexpected. The so so am I supposed to like meet her now? I didn't know if you were okay with meeting me meeting her um it's really f it's fine okay well i'm sorry i just make the worst first impressions but it won't last long you know so oh why not oh i'm sorry but yeah let's go inside let's go i, I okay. thought i was just gonna pick you that's fine come inside calvin is everything okay yeah we're good mom well these are some muffins london made um nice to meet you calvin yeah, nice to meet you, Miss Amelia. So sorry for the first bad impression. I just was a little confused. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. I get it. You're probably nervous, and that's completely normal. But you can take a seat. This is some cupca cupcakes that London made. London, if you want to hand them out, you can. Your house is very, very nice, Miss Amelia. Yeah, I think you have seen it before, haven't you? Without my permit. I mean, sorry. Let me, let me be quiet. Oh, my. Um, who made these? Me. Okay. They're probably gonna taste like. Tr I mean, yeah. Like what? Mmm, they're so good. Yeah, they're so good, right? Mm, Let me take they one. They are good, mom. You should try one. They're <coughs> delicious, London. I love these. Thank you, mom. So, Calvin, tell me about yourself. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to know, Miss Amelia? Like, what do you do? Do you have a job? Like, um, I don't know your hobbies. Your family? Something that I gotta know. Well, um, my dad, he owns this, like, company. So, that's the most I can say. And, um, uh, and I'm a full-time student. I don't really have a future that I'm looking forward to. And, um, I just so happily, um, happen to be dating your, well, 
I'm your like daughter's boyfriend, I guess, and and yeah. I'm gonna ask you a serious question. I need you to answer it with the truth, okay? You two, London, if you're listening, how long have you been? <laughs> how long have you guys been going out for? Oh my gosh, London, don't interrupt me. How long have you guys been going? How long have you guys been going out for? Uh, I need the truth. Uh, London, do you want to say it or do I say it? Uh, you can tell him. Um, basically, we've been going out for about six months or so. London. Yes. Six months. Yeah. Me estás escuchando. Six months, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> and how long ago did you sneak out? Couple. Like a weeks couple of ago. weeks ago. Exactly. And I thought this was just a new, like, relate. So you've been hiding this for six months, London? Yeah, I was gonna say three months. Oh my bad. This is why I told you to say first. Hija de tu ching. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> London. Well, we're gonna have some talk later with London. But, I mean, yeah. that's At least you're telling me something about yourself. And I just wanna say I'm... Thankful that you're, um, I guess, make my daughter happy. I don't know. As long as you're happy, London, but really, that's why you're sweating, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go wash your hands. All right. <laughs> well, um, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, I was just wondering if I could take, I'm gonna take your daughter out really quickly, if that's fine with you. Um, yeah, sure. Where are you gonna go? Um, we're gonna go to the beach pier because I have to tell her something very important. Okay, we'll be back by like what 1 p.m. because the kids are gonna come out and if you guys can pick up Winter and Isla I mean Isla and James that would be terrific for me. Okay, actually I really don't trust you with your driving skills because I don't know how you drive But so I'm just gonna like um pick them up myself So just come bring back London like at 12 p.m. Okay, you have two hours. I think that's enough for you. No. Oh, yeah Yeah, I definitely will. Okay. Well, bye Calvin and London. Okay. Bye mom. Thank you. Calvin, are you gonna open the door for me? Um, no, you can get on by yourself. I think you could do that yourself, no? <laughs> um, okay, London, so do you wanna go get some ice cream? Yeah. How come you didn't open the door for me? Um, I don't know. Just, just let's go get some ice cream, yeah? I got vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I got my- I got strawberry ice cream. So, um, London, I have to speak with you very seriously. And I hope that you don't take this the wrong way. But I did not know that you were gonna tell your mom that I was gonna meet her today. Oh, uh, I know. It was just like, um, it's cause my mom was here not in school, so. Yeah, I feel like you should have told me first and like that's lack of communication. But, um, I do like communicating things to you, so. It is pretty serious. I mean, I've been thinking about this for like, oh, since our last- day after our last day actually you're not gonna lie because the way you kind of treated me was like not the best but <gasps> what? Uh, i just want to say that i feel like it's time for us to move on from each other and i feel like we should break up why because not gonna lie um i have been seeing someone else and she's like so much better how is she so much better um she asked me if I was dating you, and I was like, yeah, and I thought she was gonna leave, but no, she just kept pushing, and like, I actually quite like her. <sighs> Whatever. So, um, I just feel really bad, because now your mom's gonna have this bad impression of me, but it's kind of your fault, because you did Good. Good, my mom shouldn't have that impression on you, you. It's your fault for not communicating. I told you to communicate with me in the beginning of where we were. You kept it a secret from your mom. Be quiet. Why are you telling me to be quiet? Be quiet, stop being aggressive, you're acting like a crybaby, and continue. I'm just saying, because you were the one who was being all rude, you would, I would give you gifts, and when did you give every, give me anything? You didn't even give me one gift. First of all, honey boo boo, Lyndon Elegant does not spend money on some ridiculous boy. I'm not okay. ridiculous, though. I'm not just Clearly any, you no, you no. You see, this is why you're I'm not, so happy that I'm not, breaking up with you because you, you think you're superior and you think that you're better than everyone else when that is not true. Because I am. No, London, like you need to be brought to earth and like, no, just accept the fact that you're not the best person and you're not perfect. Honestly, I don't know who you're talking to because you're talking to an elegant. Okay, so that's not my problem that your, your mom, you have a family channel with your mom that's very successful. Okay, no, not every- not your problem and what about it? that like not everyone has that you have to understand that you're not living a normal life like you record every you, single second of are it you not, are you normal life a better life than you 
My, excuse me, don't disrespect my dad. My dad works at a company. I never since when I opened my mouth to talk about your dad. So I don't know. You're just putting words in my mouth, so be quiet. This is why I'm so happy I'm breaking up with you. I cannot do this no more. I literally couldn't. Like, I had to put a whole, I, I had to put a whole face in front of your mom, making it look like I cared. Oh, okay. Well, I had to put on a face on thinking like I care about this conversation. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. So I don't know how you can do it, but honey boo boo, you gotta take me back home. Honey boo boo. I'm not getting, uh, I'm not letting you go into my car. I actually have a date with the other girl, so I'm gonna go now. Um, no, I'm going with you. Uh, you're funny. You're gonna take me home. No, I'm not taking you home. You're a Jersey bar. dead. Okay, I'm gonna drive it. Nope. Back here right now. Mom? Yeah, London? Can you come pick me up, please? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll come. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'll tell you in the car. Okay. Be right there in a couple minutes. Why is it raining? I don't care. I just have attachment issues. So I just got a call from London telling me to go pick her up and it's raining. Why would I have to go pick her up if Calvin was going to bring her back home? But I'm going to hurry my booty up because it's raining and I don't want her to be out in the rain for too long. So let's go. She said she was by the bridge near the pier and the lakes. I know exactly where that is. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dora, Dora, Explorer, Dora. London! Yes, mom? Are you okay? Come on, get in the car. It's raining. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What happened? Mom. What happened? Why is Kevin not here with you? Guess what he did. <laughs> what did he do? He broke up with me. Look at my face. No, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. You know why? You could literally tell that kid was not good for you. Why? The way he did his presentation. I already knew you guys weren't even gonna laugh. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna be here to. I mean, yes, I'm gonna be here to lecture you, but I'm also gonna comfort you. So, like, what do you wanna go eat? But you gotta understand, London. You can't be hiding secrets from me. Now, why did you break up? What was the reason? Because he was seeing somebody else. Um, we're gonna figure this out. Um, I'm gonna speak with Calvin's dad because he works for me. So we're gonna see what happens there. I'm not gonna fire his dad, of course not. He does have nothing to do with this. But I just want him to like teach his son a lesson, you know, and maybe get him a job. Hey guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Please consider subscribing. It is totally free. Comment down below what you think you would have done in this situation. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go eat something delicious. It's raining. She's literally dripping in water right now. So we're gonna dry her off and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know because like the way she described him, it's nothing compared to what this kid, I never thought, well honestly I did think he was going to do something like this because like, I don't know, I just knew they were going to last. But let me know your thoughts on this and that's pretty much it, we'll see you guys next time. Bye clouds! Bye clouds!